Hey guys, this is Jonathan Wampler. I'm back in the booth again today, and today we're gonna paint one of these uh, lobster cranks. I got this uh, crank made off uh, James Ganoon over at uh, LuraBill.com. And last night I painted this uh, coffin bill in a, a red and white crawl. I got inspired by Frank Pontoon. I had pretty cool eyes to match the crawl. And also I got these eyes over at uh, Barlow's Tackle. Okay, and uh, this is what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing a sponge technique to get more depth in my uh, bait. And I'll show you more about that here in just a second. And I'm gonna use uh, uh, this uh, claw uh, stencil that I got off Instant Custom Stencils to, uh, to make it look more uh, more like a crawl. Okay, and I got the creature feature here uh, just to get more depth and uh, modeling in my bait. And I got a wing ding to run up my shells here. So let's get started. What I did is I went ahead and uh, Sprayed my bait with the uh, UVLS, let it dry. Then I went back over that with black. Uh, this uh, high golden black carbon right here. It's really good paint. I like it because you don't really have to reduce it. It's uh, uh, ready to spray. And a lot of these paints, like the Craytex line, I use uh, 4012 to reduce it. It makes it spray better than my gun and I don't get much dry tip. So yeah, if, you, if you're a friend of my work, uh, Please go to Bad Boy Custom Lures. I got some new baits actually dropping on the site today. Uh, I think you guys will like them. I got a couple swim baits, a couple cranks, a couple wake baits and stuff. So, and uh, this right here is the eyes I'm gonna be using today after I get my uh, crawl done. It's a, uh, it's a reptile eye, and I got these eyes from uh, Demi Custom Eyes. I think it looked really good in this bait. So yeah, let's get started. And on this crawl here that I did, <clears throat> I'm sure y'all seen it. Frank Pontoon actually done one, and uh, this is my replication of his. I love his work. I love your work, Frank. Uh, he's really inspired me. He's one of my favorite painters in, in all the groups, which I got a, a, a ton of different painters that I actually like. Everybody does good work in those groups. But okay, let's get started here. <laughs> all right, what I'm gonna do, I got me a, a little cutting board right here to the side. I'm just gonna get some opaque white. I'm gonna put a little drop right here on this cutting board here. And I damped this uh, little sponge too because you want it damp. And the only, only reason I'm doing the sponge technique, guys, is to get more depth. Uh, it makes your uh, baits look kind of more realistic. A lot of times I do the crack, crackle effect, and you can get the crackle effect at a uh, Hobby Lobby. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sponge. Load up some paint in it and just barely dab it to get the pattern that I want and that's that's good right here. So I'm just gonna go on my bait real easy. Try to get some texture in it. That's all we're doing, try to build up texture. I'm gonna have to go slow at this because I want the belly to be black. Hope you guys like the video. Hope y'all enjoy it. And I'm sorry I couldn't do much videos lately. I've been swamped. I've been painting for uh, Kurt Armstrong. He's been keeping me busy. And actually this bait right here is his bait. I'm doing it for him. I can get more baits like these if you're interested. I won't mind painting y'all one. I actually enjoy it. Actually it's my first one I ever done. Around the eyes real good. You just gotta take your time, build up the texture you want. I wanna leave this little line right here black right here. So I gotta kinda sponge up higher. And we're just getting depth. It's real slow. Let me heat set that real quick. Okay, uh, I already heat set it off camera and I'm back. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is load up some uh, fluorescent uh, sunburst. This is a really good color. I like using it for uh, spring colors. But yeah, guys, if uh, y'all like my work, like my videos, uh, hit the uh, now uh, notification where you'll know uh, uh, I'm doing more videos and stuff. And feel free to share my uh, videos. I appreciate it. Um, I I do the videos for uh, to help you guys, like these new up and coming artists. I like helping people. So if any of the painters out there that actually like my work and Want to know how I do stuff? Feel free to message me on my uh, personal homepage. My name is Jonathan Walter. 
I'm sure you already know them all in the groups. My uh, company's Bad Boy Custom Lures. But like I said, yeah, go check out my uh, my bait page. I got all my prices on there and stuff like that. And if y'all got any requests, uh, what kind of patterns you like to see me uh, do, put them down in uh, my com comment section. I'll be glad to uh, do anything y'all want me to do. But yeah, uh, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, load up the orange, sunburst yellow orange. And I'm just gonna just hit it real slow. I'm trying to get a good angle on my camera to see what you, where y'all can see what I'm doing. And this orange takes a little while to build up till you get it to the right orange you want. about the compressor. Okay, I'm gonna heat set it real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I heat set it. So next thing what we're gonna do is uh, spray some candy before I get to the uh, spraying the candy. What I did off camera was uh, I went where the belly was and I took a permanent marker and done my crawl lines across the back. But uh, that'll look better when I get the red and more texture in there and stuff. That's just pretty much just for like a highlight, the blank is. To... So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna load up some Candy 2.0 real fast. I'm gonna mix it with the 4030. Give me one second. Okay, let me stir it real quick. Turn my pressure down to the touch. That's better, okay. I'm just gonna spray across the back and stuff. Highlight it real good. I'm gonna spray some turbo dwarf color shift paint that I got across the black and stuff to kind of give it like that shame look that we're going for. Just takes a little time to build up your colors.
Okay, give me one second. Let me wash my gun out real fast. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just got done spraying my candy. So the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to use this uh, creature feature stencil. And I'm going to uh, do a little bit of dotted molding look in it. I'll show you what I'm doing here. some dots on it. This is a fun bait to really paint. I like this bait. Definitely have to buy some more of these. Okay, I'm gonna wash my gun out real fast. I'm back. So uh, what I did was I added the creature feature, the molded stencil. So I'm just gonna spray some chartreuse over it to give it like a little highlight here. Real light. See, you can see how it does. On low pressure. Let me wash my gun out real fast. I'm back, guys. What I did was, uh, I, I did the uh, the claws off camera because I actually ha had to hold them down with my hand because I didn't have no clamps. But this is what you get. Uh, all you gotta do is got these uh, claw wheels. It's got like a little notches in them. You can put them down there and just put you some clips on them and spray real lightly, and you get the claw you get the claw effect. So I appreciate all the subscribers, all the support. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here in just a sec. I'm going to put eyes off camera. So if you like my videos, uh, just uh, you follow my work, just go to the uh, bell notifications on my page and hit the bell notifications where you will know when I'm uh, coming up with new uh, videos and stuff like that. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, as soon as uh, it gets out of UV clear coat, I'll post it online. But that's what it looks like without clear coat right now. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.